Hey guys, Justin here with the Satellite Phone Store and today I want to talk about installing a Generation 3 Starlink. First, let's do a quick unboxing. In the box, it comes with the antenna with a small stand to put the antenna on the ground, basic instructions, the router, a 50 foot cable, and the power adapter and cables. The Satellite Phone Store is one call away from being able to give you the right solution for your needs. What that means is that we have a bunch of accessories for the Starlink from shorter cables to different mounts, so give us a call. Installation of the Starlink does not require some special technician to install it. If you're handy enough, you can do the work yourself or easily hire just a handyman. If you have an open area that is suitable on the ground, you can just use the included stand and position the antenna from the ground. The advantage of this is that you can easily take the antenna with you anywhere you want. If you want a more permanent solution, you can either buy an adjustable pull mount kit and standard pipe mount from us or use an existing one that's already on the house. I took down an old direct TV dish and replaced it with the Starlink. Once the antenna is placed on the top of the mount, you need to plug in the cable that goes to the router. Then run the wire back to the router and power. I had a handyman drill a hole through the wall so I could run the wire into the house. Plug the cable from the antenna to the router, then plug the power into the router, and now the Starlink is on. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is download the Starlink app. You don't need to register, you just need this to point your antenna and also set up your router. Go back outside and use the Starlink app to now point the antenna in the right direction. Click on the alignment button and make sure the antenna is pointed northeast. This is the most optimal direction. Make sure there aren't any obstructions from the antenna to the sky like trees or structures. More than likely your antenna will need to run an update. Go ahead and let it do that. Once you have the antenna aligned, you'll need to set up your router. Go to the network tab and follow the instructions on naming and creating a password for your router. This is what you will use to connect your devices to. Make sure you visit satellitephonestore.com. We have a lot of solutions that will keep you connected at your home, on the road, and even the ocean.